everybody. I'm Lori with Behavior Education. Today is Friday, September 20th, 2019, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Morelia Minutes. Today I want to talk about something that seems like it would be common sense, but that I didn't think much about until reading the latest edition of Mater's Reptile and Amphibian Medicine and Surgery text, which came out in 2019. I was very pleased to see that chapters were included that are wholly dedicated to behavioral training and enrichment of reptiles and on stress and welfare. There are lots of great points made in these chapters. However, the one I would like to mention today is about enclosure cleaning and the removal of chemosensory stimuli when we do so. One potential stressor for your snakes is the removal of scents when cleaning. That is senses and smells and odors, not senses and dollars and cents, although plenty of those get removed when we keep and care for snakes as well. Removing chemical cues from your snake's enclosure can cause them stress. Snakes leave pheromones and odors around their enclosure to mark territory. Scent marking is not only a means for snakes to express territoriality, but it also assists them with wayfinding when they leave and later return to their home range which in this case is their enclosure. Imagine your carpet python waking up from their day of sleeping, coming down off their ledge or out of their tree and nothing smells familiar because you removed feces, urates, and bedding as they slept. Or imagine you return your snake to their enclosure after having had them out while you disinfected with soap or chemical cleaners. And now that they're back, absolutely nothing smells familiar to them. Removal of these important chemical cues can trigger stress, which in turn could disrupt eating, disrupt reproduction, and interfere with their normal activity budget. Because now they have to go around their enclosure and scent mark everything again. Whew, how tiring that would be for them. Now, I'm not suggesting that we don't clean our snakes enclosures. I'm just suggesting that if your snake is free from parasites and disease, that spot cleaning most of the time is a great option. This way, the big messes get picked up, but a lot of the scent is left behind. If we need to wipe something down, maybe we should use plain water instead of soap or chemical cleaners. If your snake is really a slob and made such a huge mess of everything that a total enclosure clean is warranted, then first see if washing everything with plain water and not using soap or chemicals is a viable option. If not, is there something that you can avoid washing at all so that at least one piece of enclosure furnishing is returned to the enclosure with familiar smells and odors on it? If everything must be thoroughly cleaned and disinfected, you can throw an old shed inside your snake's enclosure. That way they can smell their own scent inside the enclosure upon their return. See, now there is a great reason for you to keep all those old sheds that you keep collecting. In the world of animal welfare, there are two sets of guiding principles, two lists called the five freedoms and the five opportunities to thrive, both of which include freedom from fear and distress. We just might be causing some level of fear and distress in our snakes when we remove familiar chemical cues, odors, or smells from their environments. Stretching snakes outside of their comfort zone is how they learn and grow. It's part of how they become habituated to our keeping routine and the things we expect of them. However, they always need to have a place where they can feel safe and secure, a place they call home, where they are comfortable and free from worry. This is created in part by their own familiar odor being there. So let's see if we can't come to a workable balance between keeping our snakes clean and maintaining a familiar environment for them. For those of you who are interested, I'll put some references and resources in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Morelia Minutes, and until next time, remember to always be kind and love your animals.